The year 2018 definitely had its ups and downs. In the world of film, award-winning movies like Crazy Rich Asians and Black Panther led the way in diversity and inclusion at the box office. While in the world of music, rapper Extension was tragically killed in the shooting. However, in the world of gaming, the battle royale genre would blow up along with the release of numerous stellar titles. Join us now as we look back at the year in gaming that was 2018. Sony's reboot of God of War would win four Game of the Year awards, while Red Dead Redemption 2 would be the top seller as well as the highest rated game, setting the bar for years to come. According to industry analysis firm Nuzu, the video game industry was worth $134.9 billion in revenue by 2018, a 10.9% growth over the past year. 40% of the revenue was generated from mobile gaming, with consoles taking 28%, and the PC market taking the remaining 25%. Licensed merchandise based on video game franchises generated $20.68 billion in retail sales, a rise of 6.1% compared to the last year. The highest grossing game this year would be none other than Fortnite, bringing Epic Games a whopping $5.4 billion in revenue, over double the income of Honor of Thieves slash Arena of Valor, and three times the amount of League of Legends. On the business side of things, Mad Cats would be re-established. Former head of Sega's Sonic team, Yugi Naka, announces he had joined Square Enix. Kasurai stepped down as CEO of Sony Corporation, while remaining as chairman of the board, with CFO Kenijiro Yoshida replacing him as CEO. Cliff Lazinski's studio, Boss Key Productions, closed down. Microsoft announced the acquisitions of Undead Lab, Playground Games, Compulsion Games, Ninja Theory, and the formation of a new studio named The Initiative in Santa Monica. Crystal Dynamics opened Crystal Northwest. The Invitational 2018, a Dota 2 tournament with the largest prize pool in esports history, was held at the Rogers Arena in Canada. A tragic mass shooting would occur at a Madden NFL 19 tournament in Jacksonville, Florida, with the shooter, a participant in the tournament who lost, killing two people and injuring ten others before committing suicide. Capcom Vancouver would shut down. Telltale Games announced the majority of their studio closure, laying off more than 90% of their staff and canceling several in-progress games. Sony Interactive Entertainment revises its policy on cross-platform play and allows PlayStation 4 players of Fortnite Battle Royale to matchmake across all supported platforms. Skybound Entertainment acquires the rights and capabilities to finish off Telltale's work in progress the Walking Dead the final season after Telltale's shutdown. It was also announced that Video Game Guy creator Prima Games would be shutting down after 28 years in the business. Microsoft announced the acquisitions of Inile Entertainment and Obsidian Entertainment, and Starbreeze Studios would file for financial restructuring after the commercial failure of Overkill's The Walking Dead. In terms of new hardware, the Oculus Go, Neo Geo Mini, and the PlayStation Classic would all be released. In terms of film adaptations, we would see a reboot of Tomb Raider and Rampage starring Dwayne Johnson. Other games released included Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, Marvel's Spider-Man, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, Far Cry 5, Monster Hunter World, and Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Well guys, that's gonna do it for 2018. Thanks for watching. I got one more episode in this DLC pack. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Later.